Laugh. Or else. Welcome back to the Laugh Rails Radio Show here on 89.3 WNUR-FM. I am your humble host, Tim Ratichek, and joining me, as always, in the studio are Mega Beth. Hello. And the Zohan. Hi. Hi, girl. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Oh. Thanks for asking. Uh, Brian Regan. Very funny guy, very clean comedian. If he's ever in Chicago, you want to go check him out. Guys, you've never heard of Dude, him, I'm guessing. I've heard of him, yes. You've heard of him? Yes. Never heard his stuff? I, you I know, just I just heard him. Yeah, well, that too. But no, I listen to the Comedy Central channel on Sirius XM radio, and half the time. I just hear it and I don't know who the the person really is. Doesn't a dashboard display it does, say but like it's not, who's playing? It's not safe to drive and look at dashboard displays. Oh really? <laughs> yes. Not even like your speedometer. <laughs> <laughs> You're nope. not even, yeah. No. Nope. Never. Nothing. Never. I straight ahead. She t- she actually tapes off everything in her car. <laughs> it's distracting. <laughs> She's got like this little like two by two inch like hole that she drives through. <laughs> Like you're driving a tank. It's yeah. So true. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> we covered that uh, that crazy newscast from Cleveland. If you guys want to comment or if you want to ring in with an opinion about what was going on there, do so by calling 847-866-9687. Uh, call now. Call now. Wow. And Zoe will talk to you just like that. She lands the phone in a seductress voice. Life rules the radio. <laughs> when you answer the phone, you say WNUR. Whatever. You better. No, it's Life Rules Radio. Don't make me cut you, Zoe. Say both. Make everyone <laughs> I'm happy. Wait, I'm waiting for you to drop up some t-shirts for Laugh us. or WNUR. Is there anything you want me to say? <laughs> W-N-U. Tim's radio. W-N-U-R. <laughs> She's too busy drawing penises to draw our... Our t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's like how many um, how many dicks do you want on this t-shirt now? <laughs> what? <Jesus. laughs> there we go again. <laughs> I'm sorry, we had to dump out of that. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Shucks. You can't say that word. No, can't well, say. What it, if though. I was talking about a person? That's stupid. Well, we Richard. weren't, were we? <laughs> <laughs> you know what comic book I like? Dick Tracy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we can let that slide. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're going to move along. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Before they come storm the gates. I know. Well, Kick was us like, out. Like, you uh, know who I really like to talk about? Uh, Dick I don't, Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we want to hear it anymore from you. <laughs> I have to cut you off completely. Have you been drinking tonight? Five soda right here. Uh, oh, that's what gosh. it is. Too much sugar. <laughs> yeah, Damn too much sh- sugar. I actually have a plethora of sugar in front of me. A plethora? Yes. Mm. Yeah, if you can hear, like, <laughs> yeah, and that's her eating. Makes, makes for excellent radio, by the way, Zohan. <laughs> yeah, Whatever. and your cell phone going off, too. <laughs> oh, is that is that what it is? Uh-huh. The little pond drops I hear from yep. the guppies? Oh, you know yeah. what <laughs> people use <our laughs> Snapchat for? What? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, is it, are we talking about phallic something pictures? Yeah, pictures. Phallic pictures. It's going along the lines of what I am talking about, but mm-hmm. now you're not going to let me say it in that context. So you could I'm use better. other words, <laughs> Zohan, like yes. you know, peepee or you know, <laughs> wang or wiener. Yeah. Well, we 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 called a vagina a hoo-ha earlier. Uh-huh. We got a um, yes, hoo-ha a pics. Swing, swing. Shaveen? Shaveen? Shaveen or like, I don't know. The Shaveen. The Shaveen. Uh, but we had a, a another Send issue. Send me pictures of your Shaveen. Okay. We had, other than Zoe's issues, yeah. which can't be fixed in a medical facility. No. But we can mute her. <laughs> Psh, um, let's do that. <clears throat> there was another issue with the Oscars that we need to cover. Uh, apparently some girl named Zendaya, Zendaya. Yeah, she's a Disney star. Is that what it is? Yes. She's a Disney princess? 
Yeah, and she was she on Dancing like, with the Stars. Oh, oh big deal. Types. I don't give a damn about reality dance shows or sing shows or you people don't like stuck on an island. Anything. Okay, granted, reality That's shows That's garbage television. I'm sorry. Stink. Yes. But, I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. You don't you don't like quality television. BS. And, uh, what show came on the other day? Uh, uh, it's back. House of Cards. Brilliant television show. Okay. Kevin Spacey. So you got one. No, I watch <laughs> Shameless. I watch the Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> I should play the song. Uh, <coughs> I'm on a roll. Call her Butter. Because she's on a roll. Yes, but Zendaya. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Queen derailment over there. <laughs> Uh, Zendaya was, there's some Goonie show on E or True, what? E. e. Is it E? Yes. You don't even know your trashy shows. I don't. <laughs> I, I can't watch this mind-numbing nonsense. It's terrible for Fashion your... Police. Yeah. The show is called Fashion Police and, um, Juliana Rancic is her name, I guess, mm-hmm. is the host, who was accompanied by... Former comedian, um, what's that redheaded name? Kathy Griffin. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's kind of weird, but I'll play the clip here. Juliana Rance had gotten a lot of trouble for something she said, and she was also forced to apologize. Once the Disney princess reacted on Twitter and all nine million of her legion... <laughs> had had stormed her house with pitchforks and torches and demanded her head. But let's see or let's listen to what it was that got Juliana Rancic in trouble. I love I love Zendaya's style and I love when she has the little hair. She just had it. I think this she's such she's just such a tiny frame that this hair to me overwhelms her. Like I feel like she she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> Or weed. Yeah, maybe weed. Okay. Yeah. So she said her hair smells like weed, which wasn't her comment. It was Kathy Griffin's comment. She just repeated it. And all of a sudden, the uh, apology police were kicking her door in, you know, waving batons and spraying her with mace. I mean, that was she clearly knew what she was saying. But that whole show is based around uh, knocking people down for what mm-hmm. they look like. Okay. Yeah, it's just so. insults nonstop. And then if you have Kathy, like, what's her Kathy face? Griffin. Yeah, she's, I mean, that's all she does. That's, mm-hmm. that's her, she makes a living on making fun of other people. She so. used to be a comedian, like I said. Right. And, you know. She, she had her own show, I think. She did. It was almost like a talk show. reality show or a talk show? Talk show, yeah. Okay. And so they were calling out Juliana Rancic for this comment when it's obviously Kathy Griffin who gave it to her, and she just repeated it. But, I mean, the focus isn't on Kathy Griffith, Griffin, Griffith? Griffin. For any, you know. <laughs> it's a hard word to say. Yeah. <laughs> she just. Just uh, like ugh. Rick Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> Pringsfield? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Springfield. Rick Sprinkle. <laughs> Fifty, yeah. Uh, so, I don't understand why Kathy Griffin, Griffin was not pointed at for the comment. Uh, I guess because she's a guest on the show, as opposed to not being the host. Well, and I mean, Juliana was the one that kind of initiated it, so maybe she, she was She said just her hair smelled like patchouli. And patchouli then oil, yeah. Griffin said, or weed, and then she repeated it. You put... Uh, yeah, patchouli oil is something that that stereotypically it's considered hippies use. Is it? I, I mean, I thought it was like an Italian thing. I thought Nag Champa <laughs> was like more so in those lines. Does it make sense? What? Nag Champa. What? <laughs> Nag <Nag-champa>? All right. <laughs> no what mind. language is this, Zoe? Whatever. You guys well, don't know. You're right. You're, you're right. You'd explain it to <laughs> yeah. us. Knock Jump is like a, um, uh, good one. That's so <laughs> yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that clarification. <laughs> we can move on with our lives yes. now. Yes. So, uh, Zendaya responded to the comment on Twitter. And I'll read a quote here. It says, uh, 
good mm-hmm. one too. You <laughs> can... Well, I got to awesome. skate through the article here. Are we going to have a show where we just kind of like moan and like groan? <laughs> <laughs> Our next segment is groaning. <laughs> All right, I'm ready if you're done moaning. Do it. Uh, Zendaya's quote on Twitter is to say that an 18 year old wom- young woman with locks must smell of patchouli oil or weed is not only a large stereotype but outrageously offensive right because people with dreadlocks aren't associated with weed she said yeah. <laughs> adding that her family members also have dreadlocks so do Sel- Selma director Ava DuVernay Never heard of her. No clue. Author Terry McMillan and many other men and women and children of all races and all the Jamaicans that sell you pot in Jamaica. (laughs) She added, there is a already harsh criticism of African-American hair in society without the help of ignorant people who choose to judge others based on the curl of their hair. Uh, I didn't know this was a direct shot. At ethnicity, at race, yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's mm-hmm. it's more stoner. Yeah, because there are a bunch of stoner white boys that wander around with dreadlocks too. Mm-hmm. My true. wearing my hair, my wearing my hair in locks on an Oscar red carpet was to showcase them in a positive light. Okay, to remind people of color that their hair is good enough, smart enough, and doggone it, people like it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> To me, locks are a symbol of strength and beauty, almost like a lion's mane. Okay, well, that was a little overboard, I believe. I agree, but everybody is, you know, making a political statement. Yeah, well, what is this with this social justice warrior nonsense? Mm. Like, oh, I got to defend an entire race because of somebody's comment on your hairdo? Everybody's, That's ridiculous. Everybody's got a soapbox. Yeah. And they're, <laughs> some of its hair. Apparently, they're being piled high, too. Yep. Because like, they're getting their voice heard over everybody else. Like, even logic is drowned out over, like, an interest group or Disney princesses. <laughs> like, mm. I didn't hear any, like, that comment to me didn't scream racism or it didn't single out a race. It was you and your hair. And I'm sorry, but dreadlocks, be it on a white or a black person, usually are stereotyped with pot smokers. I'm sorry. Oh, totally. Well, thanks to Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right? I mean, if Bob Marley were a white guy, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't or, matter what race you are. You like, it's a culture that people follow. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. the pot that's about smoking it. culture. <laughs> yeah, essentially, there's the, it, it, it's a culture that's uh, like associated with it. I mean, right. we're all talking about the same thing. It's all um, you identify yeah, really with like things. So right. So you know, the pressure was put on Rancic after this tweet was made. Once it becomes ethnic or racial, then automatically you're the bad guy. Oh, yep. Doesn't matter what context you use, the, whatever phrase, once somebody accuses it of being racist, you are now going to take the apology to her. Mm-hmm. And so he sat Juliana down for a minute and told her, you know, gave her, probably gave her a script to read off a prompter as to what to say in order to keep her job. And I'm pretty sure she is still employed with Fashion Police. So let's listen to her apology. I'd really like to address something that is weighing very heavy on my heart. I- okay. Weighing, uh-huh. weighing heavy on your heart, right? Yeah, you mean, I got caught. More like looming over your head from sponsors and the people who pay you. So let's continue. I want to apologize for a comment that I made on last night's Fashion Police about Zendaya's hair. Now, as you know, Fashion Police is a show that pokes fun at celebrities in good spirit. But I do understand that something I said last night did cross the line. Wait a minute. If her show is basically poking fun at people and what they wear or how they look, how is this offensive? That's a good question. Because, I mean, Joan Rivers was on that, and, I mean, she... Oh, she well, Joan, some new ones. Yeah. yeah, but Joan would tell people to go screw themselves if they were True. looking for an apology. True. 
I guess when you're in the business for 85 years, <laughs> like you got that kind of authority. But I've never heard of this Rancic before this issue episode. Oh, really? She's she's got roots in Chicago. They've got a rest. Her and her husband have a restaurant here. What is it like a Wendy's? <laughs> yes, it is Wendy's. <laughs> is that racist? She does look like the freckle bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so let's continue with her apology. I just want everyone to know I didn't intend to hurt anybody, but I've learned it is not my intent that matters, it's the result. And That's it. That's exactly mm-hmm. it. Now, she's not a comedian, but even though comedians face the same scrutiny even in a comedy club just ask daniel tosh about you know his jokes Mm -hmm. oh yeah that got blogged about and then all of a sudden he was dragged through the fire uh it's i don't understand it man you know your shows this show is obviously based around sarcasm and humor Mm -hmm. right so i mean but disney is is a mighty powerful entity and I'm sure if we said something wrong about him, it could probably reach the right channels and it'd shut us down. Yeah. But let's continue. The result is that people are offended, including Zendaya, and that is not okay. Therefore, I want to say to Zendaya and anyone else out there that I have hurt that I am so, so sincerely sorry. Who else could possibly be hurt by that? <sighs> Hippies. Yeah, dirty hippies. (laughs) Oh man. (laughs) Well, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, well, I mean, if 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 you know, like, your culture is like a, I don't know. I mean, like, if if you know that, like, okay, let's see. Well, you smoke weed. You have hair that smells like patchouli. I don't know. How can you end up being offended? It's like, oh yeah, you're pointing that out. Whatever, you know. Everybody's offended by something. Well, yeah, you know. but it's not a, against the law to be offended or to offend someone. <laughs> right. You know, you don't, you're not intruding on their, yeah. you know, and civil I mean, rights in any way by saying you're ugly. Some of the things that they say about other people, too, I, that's why I can't watch that show because it's just, it's just so negative mm-hmm. all the way around that, you know, this just kind of fit in with the, the topic for me. That's why I was a little surprised. I mean, it's a, it's like a it seems like a a, a roast you know like a it's comedy totally it's basically what it is yeah. yeah okay so knowing that like that's that's the show do you, you can't take offense because we're offending everybody not just you yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure where the apology necessarily fits in but with like juliana rancic um the way that she is she is a very like kind-hearted person in the first place did you say paula really dean has been- no, <laughs> Paula <laughs> Dean told her, yeah. Sure. That would have been part of the last clip. <laughs> Paula <laughs> Dean and her butter, you know. <laughs> no, like uh, I think just the way that she decides to like um, portray herself, um, it's she's probably one of the lighter-hearted people yeah. on that show. So I think that's why she felt probably obligated to apologize as well. well I doubt it. She's the face of a lot of E besides the Kardashians. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which means she's got a lot to lose if somebody's beating down E's door yeah. over things she said. Mm-hmm. And Disney, like I said, I don't know if they own E. Do we know? That I don't know. Because that could be a big reason why, like, the apology came the next day. And, I mean, look, at it, it. a tweet, a tweet mm-hmm. sent this thing into a spiral, and then she had to apologize. Yep. Yeah. And oh. that's the power of some young girl I've never heard of. Well, and I mean, she she is one of those that sets an example for young women. And oh, is I, that right? Let me let me IMDb her and see what kind of example she's setting. <laughs> IMDb. Well, if you're I don't on, know if we can hear you typing. Right yeah, now. <laughs> if you're on Disney, you're it's kind of automatically type, 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 type. assumed to be some sort of role model or positive person for young because it's a kids channel well right i watch and it too <laughs> look at all the, look at all the disney princesses who went on to do great things like britney miley spears cyrus, miley yeah. cyrus and miley cyrus actually did a great um performance the other day she did a, a paul simon song she well supposedly they've been talking about how she's been cleaning up her act and i think yeah, she's, yeah. Right. Uh, we played that that twitter game a few <laughs> weeks ago and her tweets aren't clean that's for sure well just just saying. I don't know. 
she's there's there's hope there's still hope i guess Mm -hmm. (laughs) well and and i think um for for fashion police kelly osborne went public with saying that she she's a friend of zendaya well she had nothing to do with this this comment and she had okay so apparently she had warned juliana beforehand not to even talk about her well not to say i don't know if they were rehearsing before or something and she said don't say that and she said it anyway so that i think that was spun a little more out of control Mm -hmm. and then kelly osborne threatened to quit and then and she's like, no, no, I'm not going to quit. And I think now she has quit. Wow. And they're already looking for a replacement. I have a feeling. I, I Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I think um, it didn't seem like she was really that harsh on the show. I mean, but to be a, like a critic for, for that stuff, I th- pretty much the, the, <clears throat> the most like strong-headed person, obviously, was, uh, was Joan Rivers. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like we already addressed that she she didn't really care to apologize about anything. But, you know, that's that's her style. It's been her whole style the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know, with with the change of hands with like with her gone, I think maybe they feel like they're walking on eggshells now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's probably why they, they did this. I don't think anything warrants an apology from this show. Uh, like, well, besides the show itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it should apologize yeah. for being on the air. Yeah, we have a disclaimer. They need a disclaimer. Yeah. Seriously, they, they just need to lose viewership so it goes away. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so other than that, Whoopi Goldberg weighed in on the situation. Well, now Whoop- there's someone with dreadlocks. Exactly, and they were <laughs> freshly tuned up for for her appearance to make this statement. She, oh, you, you could tell, like she just had her head shaved and the samurai <laughs> weave. <God>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the thing is, it's a samurai weave. Real, real quick. <laughs> like the ponytails that a samurai wears, it's all shaved and it's high in, in the back. Uh, okay. You've seen a samurai, Zoe. Uh, I don't think they exist anymore. Lies. Filthy. There's one outside the studio. Exactly. Right That's what they want you to see. He guards the front door. You didn't see him? <laughs> the samurai. But uh, Whoopi Goldberg is a comedian. I call her a former comedian because yeah, she hasn't been funny since her special at the Madison Square Garden. Mm. Uh, and I would think that she would side with funny saying that, you know, you have the right to be funny on a show that's intended to be funny by picking on people. No, since she's been on The View, she's, that's her soapbox to, oh, yeah. everything is. Yeah, something about know. The View that turns <sighs> menopausal women <laughs> mental. <laughs> Well, now you're gonna get a bunch of backlash from menopausal Woo! women now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all that's better. like the view is where ovaries go to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be lifetime, now yeah, it's the view. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And all like, right. It only takes one hour, obviously. All right. So <laughs> let's listen to Whoopi Hoopy Hoopy. If I was in the military, I would have to cut my hair because yeah, they don't that's like right. dreads. They associate dreads with something mm-hmm. else, which many people have done. Yeah. This is what Juliana did, and that's why she's getting a lot of poop. She's not Joan Rivers. And unless you know how to make jokes, don't, don't do, do it. Don't do it. Because this is what happens. Wait, if you're a comic, then you can yeah. get it. That's what this is about. But I think that's, I think what, that's, that's what, what this whole show is. About. They sit around and kind of do the mean girls thing, and I think it's easy to get caught up in it when that's the premise of the show. They're just there Actually, making fun of people. Actually, it's not the premise people. of the show. No. Jo- d- I think Joan, it is. No, it wasn't. I don't. It, it, I don't know what it is now. I haven't watched this since Joan passed. But okay, Whoopi. So exactly. then you aren't qualified to comment, are you? No, and she us, doesn't watch the show. The military doesn't. <laughs> I don't watch this show, but I hate it. They don't allow dreads. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. They don't allow anything. No. Well, yeah, because you got to be as stagnant and stale as the next soldier. Well, yeah. So. I mean, they all had, you know, they all have that same hairstyle. So it's not nothing against. Oh, we don't. It, like, it really does not matter. <laughs> yeah. It does nothing not matter. Against. Like that. That two cents could have been kept in your pocket. Right. It's totally full of poop as she puts it yeah (laughs) all right let's continue you got anything on your head you're getting it gone (laughs) get gone get gone (laughs) but joan's attitude has always been for the 40 years that i knew her she took the mickey out of everybody including herself she was a comic who made fun of everything and everyone that's one thing this is a a a newbie Mm. you know juliana is a newbie 
Uh, she is not a stand-up. We don't know her as a, a funny person. And so the joke doesn't sound like a joke. It sounds it was like racist? a racist? That... I don't I don't know what it was. Well, I, and, I, and, and let me just be really commentary clear about about racism. I've met oh. real racists, oh. so I'm very hesitant to call people who put mm. their foot in their mouth mm. racist. Right, yeah. She was just Bone ignorant. Head. Ah, oh, whoopee. I will agree with her on the, uh, she's not Joan Rivers. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, no one's Joan Rivers. Well, yes, but yeah. I mean, she's not known for her <laughs> comedy <is> whatsoever. <laughs> but we all know the premise of the show, which Whoopi denied was about making fun of people. Uh, well, it's making fun of their clothes. What it's right. supposed to be is about making fun of the uh, like outlandish styles that You're celebrities have. You're taking That's all it's supposed to be. Right. Mm-hmm. At, you know, whatever designs mm-hmm. they're wearing or whatever mm-hmm. weirdness they come up with. Like the one girl who had her $700,000 pearl dress stolen. Oh, Did yeah. you hear about That's that? crazy. Yeah. Like, who, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't wear a dress that costs more than two houses. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Ugh. No wonder it got stolen. Good for you. It's like 80 of my cars. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but I thought Whoopi would have been like more lenient. I mean, it's a joke. It's a joke. There was giggles. It wasn't intended to be racial, which I'm, I'm not surprised that the other cackling hen over there was like, do you consider it racist? Like, mm. or are we trying to drum up more crap than yeah. there should be? Because that's what that kind of comment would do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't racist. It was a bad joke. And it got blown out of proportion because of the target. Mm -hmm. It's simply because of who she is and what she represents. 